Hey everybody, Midwest Coin Hunter here. Uh, today's video is going to be an unboxing of a recent purchase that I made on eBay. Uh, it was actually two separate auctions that I won. Um, they were both for the same uh, items, uh, but it was two separate auctions and uh, so it was all shipped together. And it just arrived today. Uh, the auctions were one on November 15th and this arrived in the mail today. It is November 27th and it came from New Zealand. All the way from New Zealand. So let's open this up and see what we got. So what I ended up buying was two separate auctions for $1 face value of some junk silver. So I got eight quarters. Oh, that one was already open. didn't go as smooth as I thought it would. So I got two separate auctions here. So I got a total of uh, $2 face value of some silver quarters. We got a 1942, a 1947, That's a S mint mark on that one. First one didn't have one. A 1936. A 1944. And then the second auction. We got a 1957, a 1947, Denver, a 1942, Plain, and a 1947, San Francisco. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show a screenshot of the uh, two separate eBay auctions so you can see what I paid for them. So here was the first auction that I won. As you can see, I paid $9.50 and it had a $2 shipping charge. And here's the second auction I won. I paid $8.25 and it had a $2 shipping charge as well. So as you can see, I paid $9.50 for the first auction that I won and $8.25 for the second auction that I won. Now the seller did contact me and said he was going to refund me uh, shipping for one of those auctions as he was just going to uh, combine everything into one package and ship it out. So that was awesome. I ended up saving a couple dollars more than I was uh, originally planning on spending on this. So my total that I paid for these eight coins came to $19.75 and that works out to $2.47 a coin. Now the total melt value of these eight coins at the time that I purchased them was $24.72. So I saved a difference or I paid just at $5 under melt value for these eight coins which I think was a pretty good deal. So uh, sometimes you just keep your eyes open for those auctions um, and you can find some good deals uh, like I did here, or at least I think so. Um, and then you have a little something to add to your stack. So 
I'm going to keep uh, watching those eBay auctions and I hope to find some more. Anyway, we'll add these eight coins to our silver stack. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.